Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to create Power BI report from SharePoint Online List. This is my sample SharePoint Online List that is a financial sample and where I have sample data. Using this data, I'm going to create a Power BI report very quickly in just a few minutes. Let's see how we can create. Open your list and click on the three dots, then go to Integrate and then go to Power BI. Then we could see Visualize the List menu. Already, I have published a few reports. I can see those. I will publish one more here. So let's click on this. Visualize the list. Menu. Now it is being redirected to the Power BI portal. Before creating the report, we can see a message here. Let's read this out. What is that? If you continue, data you have access to in the report and associated semantic model will be visible to anyone who can view the list. This remains true for individual list items that have item level permissions that only you have access to. If a semantic model already exists for the SharePoint list, it will automatically be reused. If you encounter this message without first selecting Visualize the list on a SharePoint list, select Cancel. So basically, what it is saying is if you have an item level permission in SharePoint list. And if you publish this report to SharePoint list, that item level's permission will be broken. The report will be accessible to everyone whoever has access to that list. Let's click on this. Create a report. Now, my report is being generated. Let's wait for a few seconds. It is being processed, yes. See how quickly my Power BI report has been generated without any coding or configurations and without much effort. I can see my list data graphically here. And we can go over the various features from this report. Let's click on this show data table. Now, I can see my data in the form of a data table. Let's hide it back. I can open this in edit mode as well. So before switching to edit mode again, it is asking for consent. When you switch to edit mode, you'll lose access to your data pane. Do you want to continue? I'm not going to continue until this. What I'll do here is I'll just publish this too my SharePoint list. Let's click on the Publish to the List option. And here also you can see a message while publishing. When you publish this report back to the list, everyone who has access to the list will be able to open it and see all the data you've shared in. The report. Let's name this report. This is my report name. Financial Sample Power BI Demo Report 3. Now I will click on Publish button. 
Now my Power BI report is being published to SharePoint list. It has been published, and we can see that it was untitled earlier, and now it has been titled. The name has been shown here. Now I will go back to my same list. Let's reload this page. I'll follow the same navigation. Wow, I can see my published Power BI report here. That is Financial Sample Power BI Demo Report 3. Now, any user, whoever has access to this list can access this Power BI report from here. Let's click on this. Now my list data has been opened in Power BI. That's it. Thank you. Hope you like this video. And if you would like to appreciate my efforts, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.